Ready? Get in my phone. <laughs> So rocketed. Oh my god. I got everything that a girl <laughs> wanted. I already did the clap, I'm gonna do it again. Boom. Okay. Make you clap. Hi, Amber's IGTV this is and IGTV. Facebook. Yeah. Not right now. We gotta this go. Is not about you. Yeah. What's up, beautiful people? Wait, wait, I didn't have my phone. Oh down. my god. <laughs> What's up, beautiful humans? It's your girl, Amber, and I'm with... <laughs> my Yay! Girl! <laughs> my girlfriend. My girlfriend. That's what Girlfriend. Seek to the A to the S to the E. Period. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all, I'm really happy to extend the conversation that I had from my last video about talking about being a good sex partner and if, <laughs> or if you, I just recorded it literally okay. before they got here. Okay. So they don't mm -hmm. know what I said in it. So I want to ask y'all, are you a good sex partner? I right? lay wait down. Okay, you. yeah, no, that wasn't the real question, all right? I want to ask you guys, if you have conversations with your partners or potential partners, do you have sexual conversation with them to ask them what they like, dislike, fetishes, fantasies, kinks, no! or consent for certain things that you like. I already know what she like. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> up and sit down. Okay, there's so many reasons why you gotta ask. First of all, because you can't go into every partner like everybody likes the same thing. This is true. Wouldn't your partner ask you? Cause I mean, you know, studs you get asked usually questions. get asked. I'm For me, literally, honestly, like whenever like I get into it, I'm real confident. You know what I'm saying? No, no, seriously, no, I'm really confident. Nobody asked I'm really that. confident. I'm really confident. I believe but but you, but the questions do get asked. Usually not. I don't ask the question. You know what I'm saying? But because you know, I typically date straight women. They be asking. We you all know, know all right. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. you know the girls on TikTok. So why would you date straight girls? <laughs> okay, so let's. <laughs> Baby, this is unfamiliar territory. You know what I'm saying? For some. Unfamiliar territory. I can't say unfamiliar territory. I say territory. 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 Unfamiliar ter territory. <laughs> Oh, are you gonna edit this? It's unfamiliar territory. Literally, they ask, like, all right, so sometimes they be doing a little bit of, and I need. <laughs> what is happening? What Do you have sex conversations or not? Or not? You said no. She did. Confession moment, we've Confession. all had shots. All right, oh, yeah, we're so oh. just disclosure, yeah. we all had shots. Yeah. Continue with starting from now to make sense. Okay, I'm gonna let you go first. Yeah, no, you already, you already said no. So, yeah. Terry, so explain why you don't have okay. a sex conversation. I usually don't have conversation, honestly, because I'm very confident in what I do. I love pleasing a woman, you know what right. I'm saying? So yeah. like, whenever I please a woman, I'm very like calculated and it's just like, all right, Cocky, you mean. I know, I know like, okay, I know what, if I do this, this is going to hit. That's why I know that if I do that, yeah. it's going to be like, she going to be coming back. You know what I'm saying? If I do right there, she gonna have her leg in the air. So it's like, right. you know, yeah. I don't really but have Calculated to. doesn't always sound like a great thing because Ooh. you are all, like, it sounds like you're stuck in your moves and your ways and every woman is different. Ooh. Talking about the motion in the ocean. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, you uh, these fighting words? Like, <laughs> And this is why we're having this conversation right, right now. Cause she just got so mad my dick is bigger. Right. Just playing. Sit down. No, and that's just something to learn because I was telling Stevie earlier that we all have our little things that we do that we know works for us, right? right. Just to go into every situation as a clean slate in mm -hmm. a new adventure because mm -hmm. I know that the things that I do do please, but at the same time, if I have a new partner that doesn't like. So wait, do you go in asking or you kind of just, all right, I'm gonna fill them out and like, I wanna ask because maybe I'm not as confident or like, how does it? The questions like, well, the setup is, and, and your mindset is, yeah, I wanna yeah. understand. <laughs> You asking the questions makes you a better lover for them, but in general, mm. because now you know how to have the conversation for the future, right? right? Yeah, it enhances but, it for sure. Yeah, because if they say, oh, I really like this, and this is something that you might have done a little bit grazed over. Right. Now having that little, you're like, oh, you like that? I'm going <laughs> to do that, the shit out of that, and see yeah. what happens with yeah. you. Yeah. No, you know honestly, I mean? not even being funny, but like one of my past partners, uh -huh. I believe that I made her come way too fast. And she was trying to like 
stay Anyone? in it. So it's like, I can give her those things. Cause like, at first I was like, dang, she's really satisfied. But then I'm like, are you okay with this? Yeah. And she really wanted it to go longer. So that was mm -hmm. so good that I even said that. You know so she mean? wanted like, more foreplay. Yep. But didn't well, I don't even know you. about more foreplay. She just wanted me to like, don't she have it not so, like that. Yeah. so that well, she can just foreplay, boom. Foreplay, we think of, uh, straights think of foreplay as, as head and to that, and that's our like, you know, things like that. And that's sex for us, right? I know But there's so many things in foreplay, like touching them certain places, exactly. nipple yeah, play, massaging, sure. like all the other things. Yeah, that, like, kissing, lead. yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like for tease sure. the, Exactly. Tease it a little me, bit. I, I, it's like you it was like me? that old school mentality, like going for the kill. I'm about to knock you out. See how fast <laughs> I can you know what I'm saying? But okay, so in the car I was thinking like I was just driving, you know what I'm saying? Y'all in my business. <laughs> but so yeah, I can hear like my partner moan and it turned me on. I was yeah. just driving. I was like, oh shit. Wait, was your partner literally like laughing? What was your partner? No, you, she by herself. No, I was on my way here. Oh, she was thinking this about was it. This just now. Oh, I just was think thinking about oh, it. Yeah, okay. I could literally hear it in my head. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. I yeah. didn't realize That's how much <laughs> I'm turned on by that. Like, I know I'm turned on in the oh, moment, yeah. but it's like hearing my partner like express what's going oh, on with her yeah. body. It's yeah. just like yes. everything. Because I already yes. know I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You ever do. give uh, moan voice Over. notes? Hmm? Listen, oh, you can have best things Listen, ever. Video, yeah. 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 The voice notes. Wait, what? Look, like a voice like note. them moaning in a voice note sent to you? Hey, I, 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 oh, oh, oh. When someone like, like misses hey. you and they like handle it themselves and they just like, you know, Moan record it, and send, send it to, it to you. you. That yeah, right you there. You that's know. right there. Maybe that's either. a whole nother level. Yeah, don't you want some voice notes now? You better talk to your partner. See, <laughs> this is why this, <laughs> literally, and you know what? Dude, this right here is an example of why having these conversations are so important because saying that, oh, these things actually turn me on to your partner will then be like, oh, yeah. shit, I thought if I sent that, you would feel weird about it or judge yeah. me or whatever. And so like saying that to them will be like, oh, okay, cool. This is something new I can do or I can oh. throw, like I know how to throw them off or get me thinking about them. See, mm -hmm. I'm not comfortable doing voice memos. But you like to receive them? I would love to receive them, Alexis. Yeah. Dang, she called wifey out. We've talked about stuff for sure, for sure. And I mean, I think it definitely <clears throat> helps out tremendous. Mm -hmm. Did you do uh, it previously? Yeah, I think we've always done it. No, with other people. Chris is the married one, so. Well, Chris I, also but before you were married, many, many when you were right. about to engage yeah. in, in, in a sexual activity with people, did you like talk ahead of time or you just went for it? Yeah, I think I've always just went for it. I've never talked ahead of time. If it's been multiple Time. times, mm -hmm. then like at that moment, like, We'll have conversations like, you know, maybe via text or mm -hmm. like, oh, I like when you did this. Or like when you're trying to like maybe sexting or stuff like that, I'd be like, oh, okay, that must be what she liked it. Yes. Yeah. What you're bringing up is something that I missed in my video also because it, it, understanding the timing makes sense. Because mm -hmm. with some people, I'm a quarter, so like, like a court, I like to court women, right? So a lot of what, times, what, 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 what was that? like take a them out, to court you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm fucking opening daddy. them doors. Oh, oh I know. Yeah. I'm, very familiar I'm, with I'm taking that. them to restaurants and I'm <laughs> creating a vibe before I get into it with them sexually. And that's why I have plenty of time to have those conversations ahead of time. But then there are times where I have just gone for it. And then like on, once we kind of build a little bit of like, we're having sex multiple times. Then like after the third or fourth time that I asked the questions like right before. Right. So there are really? those, those times and that's okay. Cause mm -hmm. it's all about the vibe and the energy you have with someone and like finding what, what time is the best time to have that conversation. Damn. Right. So basically it's open a door. So how you like a pussy leg? Yeah, for real, Wait, and I was literally, I, I was literally it. about to say that is one thing that yeah. I actually enjoy is yeah. talking, but not not necessarily like nasty talk. That's great, but actually like talking what you like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, just random. It's all in the moment. Oh like, yeah, all listen, in the moment. I'm like, gonna say it's something. But... I've actually talked about my day before. So how was your day? And like, if she'll talk, like, it, just make it like a casual thing. It's so freaking fire. No way. Wait a minute. It's tight because it's so tight. Like, work. Both is a cool thing because yeah. okay. honestly, joking, like, joking. in the middle of sex and you like pleasing each other to yeah. kind of play that game of yeah. like, oh, I'm not even thinking about it, this. That's exactly. I'm thinking about oh, oh, you think you're getting me? That's exactly. I'm thinking about video. Oh, I feel 
feel you. So you think you're right there? Like, so you're you're able to there? talk right now? I was like, thinking more you're not like, about yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking exactly. more like porn talk. Oh. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> all of it. Fill me up. But all of it. It is all, but yeah, it is. I mean, what works with y'all's situation is the is the thing. Yeah, some, yeah. Some, some people, I don't want to talk exactly. at all. I want to go ahead and do the yeah. thing. I don't want to talk. And then some people, yep. it's just a thing. That's okay, so some of us have and some of us haven't had the sex conversations. So what I want to ask y'all right now is if if those that have, which might be only us over here, yeah, or no, you're having them now in your relationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What kind of questions do you ask? Yeah, I had to ask my partner why they come so much and if it's okay for them because I, I think people who come so many times could probably hurt them. So it's like, okay, you all right over there? I get scared. Mm-hmm. Your body keeps convulsing all the damn time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> is you all right? You know what I'm saying? No, for real. Because it's like, don't just be doing it because you want to do this. Like, are you physically okay? Like, you yeah. need to take a breather. Okay. Well, some people know their body yeah. well enough. Yeah. yeah, some people climax at a, at, a, at a faster rate, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. But I think a lot of it has to do with people's comfortability with themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Absolutely. In those moments to like kind of let go and let, let it go happen. and be yeah. vulnerable. And I yeah. also think that having conversations and, and allowing the other person to know you does help the comfortability oh, yeah. level. Because oh, yeah. even having the conversation shows some vulnerability on both parts. Mm-hmm. And so vulnerability is a great way to gain comfort with each other and create like yeah. a safe space. Like yeah. do the damn thing. <laughs> you feel yeah. me? I think that even when with these conversations, it, with it not only a, it not only like lets you know what they like, but also what you're comfortable with in like <clears throat> doing or receiving. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. so if they tell you what they like, and you're like, oh, for real, dang, I like that. And then they're like, oh, well, you were comfortable with doing it. Mm-hmm. Right. You get what I'm saying? So like sometimes they might not even know. They might not tell you what they like because they're not comfortable with whether you would be comfortable with doing it. Yeah, because I don't want to yeah. deprive my partner. Like telling you no, you can't have this. Like nah, like dang girl, well, who you think I'm with? you for you know what I'm saying yeah, so yeah. I'm like alright I'm gonna try to you know get it at some levels but don't put my legs in there mm-hmm. do not put my legs in there yeah, I don't care I don't play that Amen. But, I feel like all my conversations with my relationships that I've ever had like kind of happen like in the moment like you know yeah. you organically? know like there was like organically because it's like sometimes like like um I guess in like in my sexual experiences like you know some people like to be slapped you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. and I don't really I've never really experienced that like that and like when I experienced it was like oh this is kind of cool you know what I'm saying like oh you better chill but I swear to God that it was in a moment where I got slapped and I thought this only happened in cartoons that you really see stars like you literally like it was like oh shit and it was like I only had seen the like the twinkles you know what I'm saying? The twinkle stars. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. And I think oh, she cute. knew that I didn't like that. Mm-hmm. You know? Because when she like, she kind of flinched again. And I like. So don't you, you hit me again. <laughs> no, it wasn't even that. Don't you? It was like, I, I was like, oh, like shit. you know, you get scared. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? So I think that was our, it was like, our that moment. She, she knew. She, realized. she, she realized. knew. She <laughs> fucked up. Like, you know what I'm saying? She knew. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, it was, I think we conversed through, mentally. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We knew. You know? But yeah. I guess we could have had the conversation out loud. But I think she knew after that. It never happened again. I think conversations happen oh, but it's man. just like you know it's like through the eyes you know how you have you have yeah. a eye sex you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. it's like one of those does any anything that get brought up does it make you y'all want to have the conversation more or understand why it's necessary or you still just like i'm good where i'm at I think the more conversations, the better, to be honest. Because, I mean, even though even though I know you say in the moment, you know what I mean, you never really know. Because, like, if you just bring up a conversation that could lead to another thing, like, oh, maybe I want to try that. Mm-hmm. And you might not know how freaky you really could be, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, without mm-hmm. trying. Mm-hmm. And somebody might not be comfortable with smacking you in your face. Maybe they would have talked about it prior. You know what I mean? I don't really know. But even though sometimes conversations could lead to, to yeah. trial, which then lets you know whether you like it or you don't like it. So, yep. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's really trial and error, but sometimes mm-hmm. it's just more safe. Think about it before, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever it, watched it Sex Education? It helps y'all be open to new <clears throat> things, like you said. Absolutely. And, like, learning something. Because you don't want to learn, like, a year in that your partner really likes threesomes every once in a while. Oh, we talked about that. So, I guess yeah. that counts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's like a fantasy Perfect. Type of thing. Yeah. We have to do one thing before we leave, y'all. Yeah. My, My no. girlfriend! That's not it okay. at all. <laughs> in our last video that we did we did upset the bisexual community we and so 
especially you. Whoa, what? So I wanna address one thing. In our last video, a lot of the bisexual community was really upset and felt like we were being biphobic what? by bringing up those topics with lesbians versus bisexuals and the stereotype that is actually true of lesbians kind of being scared of bisexuals and the reasons why, right? The reason why I wanted to bring up that conversation and, and talk about it is because I it's something that we should talk about, even the hardest parts of it, because that brings it to the surface and it calls us all out on all sides on doing better, right? So that we yeah. can make those type of things disappear because we shouldn't be judging each other and we should be a more secure and, and, and understand that every person in every situation is very different. So mm -hmm. because you had one situation with a bisexual who was cheating or all over the place, right. it okay. made you feel a certain way towards bisexuals. Right. And that's what you were trying to express. You're learning to not judge others, but that was the that experience, was my experience that you had. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. And you weren't trying to bring it to others. You actually admitted in that point that that was something immature and so that's why I, that's I felt I was like confused like, I know that's why I felt like the conversation was so necessary is because we all in lesbian community have dealt with that and for the most part a lot of us have negative experiences <clears throat> right. right but we're bringing it up to not continue to judge others we're growing from that yeah. right mm -hmm. I happen to date mostly bisexual people like a lot of straight women or a lot of women that have not been with a lot of women but have had some experience and so therefore they're in the bisexual category and yeah. when we do for me <clears throat> when we do date straight women, I do think they become bisexual. If yeah. they get to being good at laying the thigh, the butt, the thigh, and doing you the thigh, you bisexual. You bisexual now. That's where we bring them. So that was another thing that we did bring up that I also felt like was a point made for you guys, but we probably weren't as clear. clear. And yeah, I feel like you know, like you said, because I did talk about it a lot, and it. I do remember, you know, there was a video surfacing around like somebody like really just talking about me specifically. It's my own experience. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I have my own preferences. So and I am allowed to. You know what I'm saying? But it also does doesn't mean that everybody's that way. That was my mentality of bisexual women, which was immature, and I did state that, and that was just my personal experience. And if I offended anybody that is bisexual, I am sorry. You know what I'm saying? But it's my preference, you know what I'm saying? But you did say that yeah, when you said that. I, you said exactly. that I was I, young with a young mentality. Right. I, was just, I know, because you know they just didn't hear but, it. But also, too, I also have to realize, didn't. with generations, you know what I'm saying? I do realize this generations, my generations versus this new generation is a lot more sensitive that I actually have to take that into account, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. And take full There's certain things to trigger y'all, exactly. and we understand that. Y'all a little sensitive, that you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I also think our generation is, we just grew up different. Things, yeah. 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 Things were different and sure. accepted different exactly. and vocalized different mm -hmm. and the experience is completely different. Yep. Mm -hmm. So even though like you guys are more in tune with what you are in your sexuality, that's not necessarily how we grew up. We were we grew up kind of you have to kind Having of stay in your little out. box yeah. and yeah. figure like it, it, it you, <laughs> you you have all these different people that you can kind of see and, and we like didn't have us on yeah, YouTube. We don't yeah. have us at all. Y'all yeah. have that's Everything. why we do it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Growing up, like, I guess I can kind of say that I was not a, not a homophobe, but like kind of scared of that, of that yeah, world absolutely. because I knew nothing mm -hmm. about absolutely. it. Exactly. My father was a pastor. I, I, I only knew husband and wife type thing. Mm -hmm. I had an instance after a basketball game, a lesbian came up to me and was like, hey, I want to give you this and like passed me her number. And I literally looked at it like this. I said, dad, let's go. And then I threw it out the door and he said, what happened? I said, she just gave me her number. I didn't know how to act yeah. or what, cause yeah. I didn't know anything about that type of stuff. So it's not even, mm -hmm. it's just, it's pure ignorance. Cause it was nothing for me yeah. to ever see a reference to anywhere. Yeah. You yeah. know, there was, there was no L word mm -hmm. or like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like there yeah. was no any of that stuff. So it, it, it was just one of those things how you're just brought up and it's a lot more accepted now than it was back then so yeah. the way somebody grows Absolutely. up or the experiences that they have it's just different from what it is now and yeah. it's not to judge somebody on mm -hmm. it's just their experience just like how you guys are experiencing with the things that you do in life now it's just different yeah absolutely we all <clears throat> clearly understand like what triggered y'all and made you upset but i invite you to understand that there are a lot of people that have just been through some circumstances and then have their experience in their face but the fact that we were all sitting here open to the fact that we were wrong and that everybody is different is just literally to help break that stigma that is in our community so that we can do better yeah, and move sure. forward with these tools 
to do better with each other and start to educate each other more and like learn from each other, one another instead of com being combative with each yeah. other. I definitely yeah. do think though that we should also still normalize that it's okay for everybody and each individual to have their own preference. For I sure. think a lot of people are scared to say what their preference is because of the mm -hmm. backlash of how many people are get, how many people get triggered. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, it's just about how you say it and if we did like we to summarize Delivered. it all came off a different way than that, that triggered you. We weren't trying to do that. We were just explaining our own preference. Yeah, you know without what I mean? tearing someone else's exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. One of my best friends, she was she was gay, and I didn't want to be her friend. Mm. Oh, she's one of my best friends now. I didn't want to be her friend because she was gay. That's Aww. crazy. Damn. Yeah. See, yeah. I would have never guessed that. I literally mm -hmm. had a friend like that too. Mm -hmm. Me. Yeah. I literally grew up like just like I went like to church and all that other mm -hmm. stuff. My friend told me she was a lesbian. I knew I was lesbian when I was a kid. But I try to fight that, and then mm -hmm. to hear her yep. say she was a lesbian, we didn't. Our whole friend group was like, "We can't hang out with her." Like, who mm -hmm. no, yeah. knows? Like, oh, everybody. Yeah. I think everybody's been around. You know that what I'm saying? Yeah, before. yeah my my now? best friend that I was in love with in high school, she was one of the first people that came out at high school, and I and I saw people judge her, and I was in love with her for years, and I kept hiding it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then by the time that I actually like started to be like, all right, I'm, which was senior year at this point, she came out freshman year, and then when I finally I finally started to be like, oh man, I need to just tell her I lost her. You feel me? And so that's one of Damn. the reasons why. And I talked about this on my YouTube forever. And this is one of the reasons why, like, you, I, I, I live for two. Charmelia, everybody knows. This is why I live for two people. You know, I, I have to live for her. I came out and I exploded out after, like, I, I dropped some of the guilt or whatever. But that's another reason why I will never let anyone dictate my life or care about anybody else's opinion. She didn't care. She lived her best fucking life. And mm. she came out and she was an inspiration for me and still is all the time. And that's the reason why, like I said, I live for two and I go hard and I want to help everybody through their journey because she helped me through mine. And I wish that. I was bold enough to tell her that I loved her and I was actually able to experience her in the way that I could have and I didn't and I lost that opportunity and so I will never Dang, let that happen again. again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that is deep. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed part one and part two of yeah. this conversation. We had a lot to say. Make sure you guys add however you feel in the comments below. Please. We care. We're going to read them. And uh, we love y'all so much. We love stay amazing. We stay love you guys. proud. And, and we, stay woke. And we can't. C to the A to the A. C to the A to the A to the E. to the S to the E. C to the A to the A. I'm to the S. I can't. No, listen. Not, 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 Where, how did it go? <laughs> how did that go? How did that go? We know who went here to make it you. How did that sound? Alexis, I need oh. some oh. moan. <laughs> oh. Y'all get out of my nerves. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> you be like, tell me about your dad. She be like, it was, it was, it was. Are it you busting this? <laughs> what the f***? Hey. 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 Yo, we hate hey. ya. We hey. outside, we hate hey. you. Hey. 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 Oh my god, not the freestyle session. <laughs>